Welcome, welcome, welcome to another G Dubs travel vlog. This time we're in Skopje, North Macedonia. We've got a naughty few days lined up. We're going to the Matska Canyon. We're going to be doing a full apartment tour with costs included. We're doing a day trip to Pristina, all the historical and cultural sites across the city here in Skopje as well. Lots of beers, brunches, cocktails, locked in in between unreal dinners so strap yourselves in for a big one road to a thousand subscribers is on so do your boy a favor hit the button down below let's get cooking naughty little brunch number so we'll put the name on the screen now because absolutely no chance i'll be trying to pronounce that little tip that we found out a few weeks ago if you search like brunch or breakfast in the country you're going to it shows all like the more touristy places where they google translated it if you search the, I mean, whatever the local language is search brunch and then put that into google you get the more local spots so unbelievable setup gone for the grilled cheese number get a little close up on that probably some naughty spicy mayo dip with it looks ridiculous fresh OJ you're wondering why it took a little bit of a time to come out is because they were literally picking the oranges off the trees putting them in to the machine and delivering this piece of absolute artwork and of course it is about 11 a.m. it's five o'clock somewhere beer worries cheers now see you at the canyon Yes, yes, the people checking in from part way up the canyon. So when you get a taxi or whatever, it'll drop you off. Down over this side, you walk up to where, where the dam is. Just keep following it around to the right-hand side. Loads of little boat places here. It's like 500 dinar to go into the caves and then between two and 400 for the kayak, depending on 30 or 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how long you want, how often you're gonna drop in. Um, nice little riverside, well, canyon side restaurant. A few beer wares will be in there very, very shortly path semi-treacherous this is a pretty naughty spot for uh, instagram photos um and stuff like that so yeah real real nice bit more sun and we'll be in for an unbelievable day landed at the little restaurant that was on the left hand side of the last clip unbelievable settings we've got boats going down in the background obviously this is where the canoes are here 360 for an Aperol Euro summer written all over it. Don't let the sunglasses fool you. The king's been sat here in a North Face jacket, so it's a little bit chilly. A few more degrees and we go to, so I think, yeah, June onwards is uh, is definitely the play. But yeah, naughty setup, would definitely recommend. Managed to convince the king and means to do a little kayak. Hopefully, don't knock her over when I fly into her here. It is 300 dinar for your own boat for 30 minutes or a little bit. Oh God, a little bit more. Um, if you, I think it's 500 if you want to do an hour. Um, they say it's about an hour up to the grotto. I don't think we're going that far. I've been taking far too many uh, JPEGs and stuff um, for that. But yeah, Flair Little River, very, very, is it a river? I keep saying river, no, it's not. But very tranquil. When the boats come past, do get prepared because the, the waves kick in and yeah, your feet will get wet. So if you're wearing new wheels, be prepared to lose them. Sorry about the calves. And yeah, see you in hopefully a pub somewhere getting a delicious beer wari. Cheers now. Pretty flare set up on the old canoes. There you've got Ange. And then yeah the, the little path if you do want to walk up the canyon is here. Pretty sketchy. Probably need some good wheels to get down there. But yeah, worth it for the views. We have got a member of the party who fancied a bit of a dip. The chairman of the Chili Dippers, have you got a word for us? Chili Dippers, from Bolton, on tour in Scotia, North Macedonia. The water is tropical. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Matka Canyon, done, hell of a day out. Would highly recommend going there. Uh, one of the things I didn't mention earlier was getting there, it's like local buses, etc., etc. Taxi, easiest option. Uh, download an app. I would absolutely sack that off. We tried to do it, it's absolute carnage. It was 1,000 dinar for a taxi there e each way. Um, I would be prepared for some loose driving. I thought I was in a Mario Kart game, absolutely flying about the lanes, but you know what I mean? Got us from A to B, just about in one, one piece, um, just on the main square now. Nice little backdrop behind, a few birds chirping, sun slightly out in the start of May. Um, we've got a little craft beer number, so obviously taste test of the boys, that's an IPA. It is looking cloudy as chips. Powerful, powerful bit of kit that, it's on keg as well. Love to see it, we'll whack the name of the place on the screen now. But yeah, just right on the main square and then look at the level of Aperol in here. Silly behaviour, the Euro summer continues. Hell of a day, let's get it. Final check-in for the evening, dinner vibes. Hellister, naughty setup. We went next door to La Tagliata or something. You know when you just get bad vibes in a place, like 99% of the people are smoking, they sat us in the opposite side of the restaurant where there was no one, asked for a draft beer, they had six on the menu, none, no draft beer, big it from me. However, it was a blessing in disguise. Hellister, unbelievable setup. Draft beer, really, really nice ambiance. We're still sat on the main square. Look at this pizza. Look at this, like, I don't know how you can do that for size. Get a little close up. That is a disgrace of a pizza. And also, draft beers are flowing. Second one, before the food's even come, the things we love to see. But yeah, cheers for the evening. See you tomorrow. Bang! We thought the night was over. However, stumbled slash searched and found an absolutely unbelievable setup called Owl Bar Mixology. You can't miss it. Look for this fellow in the background. Nice lighting, ruthless setup. Cocktails look unbelievable. So I've gone for, for I can't speak, straw, it's like a strawberry cheesecake martini. I've had a little smell. We'll give it a little taste then. Jesus. One, powerful bit of kit. Two, it tastes like a strawberry mulacorna in a good way, infused with absolute naughtiness. So that's unbelievable. Neems is on a, a barrel aged Negroni. It looks flair. You know like when you see these people in movies, a little bit older, they're drinking it out the decanter. It's not going to taste nice, I can't imagine, but we'll see. I don't know why I smell it. Ooh. Absolutely not. It's got Campari in it. It's got Campari. Anything with Campari, horrible bit of kit, send that away. However, when we talk about artwork, when we talk about the king ordering, we're ordering a Clover Club. Raspberry infused. Look at this fella. It looks delicious. Oh. It's light. It's fruity. It's just palatable. Would recommend. Not the Negroni. Get the Muller Corner Martini. Get that raspberry cloviness. Top draw. Cheers now. Team Wing landed in Pristina, Kosovo. Going to be exploring, seeing what's going on for the day. The little day trip from Scott J. Um, it was an hour and 20 minutes to get here, so super, super quick. Paid for a little private taxi. Uh, we had a massive seven-seater van, which wasn't necessary, but you know, spread out uh, a little bit more space. Um, it's like 108 euros uh, for that, or if you wanted a smaller car, it was 150. You need your passports at the uh, passport crossing, which obviously, yeah, we, we thought ahead of time and we got that locked in. But yeah, we're in the market for some brunch, some coffee, and some beers. Not sure what order is yet, but let's get it. So what we did manage to find first stop nice little quaint place nice scenery we thought this one looks good had a little look at reviews on TripAdvisor flair scenery behind you got in sat down ordered a drink they don't do any food so brunch will be the next stop Neens, iced coffee emma on 
this, I've had a little smell of this, it smells unbelievable, the cappuccino, and I've gone for this bad boy. I don't even drink coffee that often, and I've gone for the strongest Turkish coffee known to man. Taste test for the boys. That is the strongest coffee I've ever drank in my life. That must have about a thousand milligrams of caffeine. I'm going to be absolutely flying around Pristina, tell the taxi driver we're not going to need to get us back. We're going to need to find some brunch though. We have managed to source some brunch. Margot's, we were in search of some other places that we found on TripAdvisor. Couldn't find them, stumbled across this place. Again, super flare inside. Super, super nice sort of senior in backdrop. All the staff in here, unbelievably nice. It's just past 12 o'clock on a Sunday, so a little daiquiri number, taste test for the boys. Jesus Christ. We've gone from the strongest Turkish coffee to the strongest cocktail, so we're going to be absolutely firing up very shortly. We've gone for omelette, feta, there's olives going on. We've got more eggs, some naughty little salsary dip. Um, it's literally like five euros for a cocktail, um, and then yeah, one of the dishes again is something like four euros, I think, something about that. So unbelievable value, flare setting, cocktails are fired up. It's going to be a hell of a day. Stop number two on the cocktail slash beer tour of Pristina. We're going to trying to go. We're trying to go to a place called Samoa next door. Does not open on a Sunday, so just the right of it. We find Boohoo. Not sponsored by boohooman.com, horrible clothing on there, don't bother. Gone for the local lager, what's, I don't even know what it's called. No, Pesha, Pesha, we'll see what it's saying. It's actually a pretty good lager that. A lot nicer than one, the, the local one in North Macedonia, so get your lips around that. And of course, Emma found the cocktail. Called Emma. So, let's give it a go, to be fair, it's got Vodka, Aperol, passion fruit, lemon juice, and egg white. Don't know about the egg white. But everything else is my favourite. Taste test with the boys. It looks ridiculous. Well, that's different. It's nicer. It's really nice. Mm. Pray for the king. Cheers now. And if you took a second to breathe, took a minute to cry, or maybe you see that all this time I've been right here Maybe I know it Life can get hard Keep going I just wanna be the one you need right now Baby, would you turn and look at me right now Me right now What's going on? You can tell me everything that's going wrong Only say the world will disappear somehow If we need some entertainment But we don't have to hurry Cause our conversation's always entertaining That is it, Pristina, wrapped up, boxed off I think, come in here, you speak to people A lot of negativity And, do you know what I mean, get me wrong, don't get me wrong It is a bit off the beaten track It's a little bit various, you walk into guys It's a little bit run down But then the cafe culture, the brunch culture is insane Everyone we've met is unbelievably friendly um, everyone we've spoke to as well speaks English, always wants to chat to you. The guy's been teaching me how to pronounce the beers, which is, do you know what I mean, the things we love to see. Definitely bring some cash, because some of the like the coffee places, some of the brunch places only take cash. Um, but obviously that's all in Euro, so it should be pretty uh, easy to get your hands on. Um, so yeah, if you want something a little bit different, want to spice it up a little bit, would recommend. Um, but yeah, see you back in North Macedonia. Cheers, mate. Yes, yes, the people, little Skopje apartment tour. Ridiculous scenes for 50 pounds per night. It comes with this absolutely terrible bit of kit of artwork. Absolutely massive, massive living area. Does not come with these two absolute buffoons, unfortunately. But the little kitchen area, one thing it came with Jamie Oliver, we put him straight away in the bin. Terrible bit of kit. And then the fridge came with one thing. Bottle of 40% something. We'll not be drinking any of that. Looks absolutely illegal. Um, don't need to see what the bathroom looks like, but there's two little rooms here. This is the small one, little Harry Potter size. 
and then the other one over this way. But yeah, 50 pounds a night. Do you know what I mean? You literally cannot grumble at that. 150 for the three nights between three people, practically giving it away, which actually that's what they need to do with this bit of artwork. Christina wrapped up, boxed off, come to district back in Scotland for dinner. Went for the 500 gram pork chop, recommendations of chef. Look how big the Yorkshire pudding is. Ridiculous scenes. We've got some mashed potatoes. Neems is on a little mushroom risotto for the vegans. The king. Can I just say that, whatever that is, <laughs> the gravy insane. Like, yeah, the king's gone for the steak, of course, Surrey all over. But yeah, super, super flare setting here, buzzing. We came in super late, there's like a massive function on and they were really, really good in terms of sorting us out. We, we kind of semi-booked a table, they were trying to put us in the smoking area, it's fully booked, sorted as a reservation, super nice, gun food, smells unreal, but to absolutely have our way with it, love to see it. Cheers now. Last day, unfortunately, it is raining, the show must go on, the shorts are still on, northern at heart, the calves are out. Touchdown in brunch box, about a 15 minute walk outside the centre. Look, worth the walk, get a little close up. Avocado, eggs, tomato, bacon, bit of runny yolk in the middle. Things you'd love to see. A few things on the agenda before the flight home. We're gonna hopefully go up the cable car, Millennial Cross, and then tick off a few of the bridges in the fortress. Visibility might not be as good as usual with the rain. However, we'll make the most of it. See you there. team have made it to the top sunglasses on shorts it is absolutely freezing check the hands we've chosen a bad time to come up to the top of here because visibility is about 10 meters but yeah flare little backdrop of the valley and all the scenery um, on this side um, and yeah I imagine the summer months you can see like the center of uh, Skopje so we'll try and get a little little clip of that in a second and then you've got the the big bad boy cross here but yeah, it's, it's 100 dinar to come up here, 120. So value for money on the cable car is insane. Definitely get the cable car. Saw some people hiking pretty much on their hands and knees crawling up. So yeah, advice, come in summer and get the cable car. Cheers now. Yeah, in summer months, something like this little fella here sat in there, panoramic views of the whole valley would be absolutely naughty. Bring a few beer warriors up here. And on the flip side, Obviously the big lad and yeah they've got a little restaurant and stuff where you can get drinks and all that good stuff in there just come down from the cable car baltic conditions up there gorgeous sunshine now we've come down but one thing of note the cable car runs for 30 minutes then stops for 30 minutes so well i guess when we were here it started at one then at half one they just stop for 30 minutes so again probably try and time your uh yeah your journey up and down around that otherwise you can be locked in like the people were uh, behind us in the queue um, and they, they made them stay so they, they obviously have to stay up there for another half an hour um but yeah check the weather and just go when it's sunny because visibility is going to be better and it's going to be 10 times nicer like it is now when we've come down but yeah fortress bazaar see you in there we've made it via a very precarious taxi shock to the fortress uh, again weather visibility 10 times better down here i'm not sure if i'm going to be pointing in the right direction but top of those hills that's where we just were with the ridiculous amount of mist and so forth so yeah a lot lot better weather down here and then yeah you're, you're right in the mix of the center so this is where we've been the last few days uh, the center of the river is straight through the middle here as well yeah you just walk in there's no entry fee reach by and see what's going on so yeah see what we can find if you just want me to listen i can do that too because all that i can do go on we've managed to source the oldest microbrewery in the whole of north macedonia 
old time brewery, very easy to remember. We were going to get the porter, not on. We were going to get the IPA, not on. We've landed with the Pilsner, it looks like a fruity number, so we'll see what it's saying. It's a 3 out of 10, 3 out of 10, 4 out of 10 for me. An IPA or porter man, very fruity Pilsner. Um, not the worst I've ever had, but you know, pretty mid tier. Old Bizarre is up next, we'll see you in there. from the old bazaar. Insane value in here. Ice cream, 70p. They're practically giving them away. Oreo ice cream, get that on the rig for summer. But yeah, everything is super, super, I'm gonna say affordable, not cheap. Um, in there, like a coffee is about 80 or 90 or something like that. So yeah, absolutely insane value. 70p for an ice cream. Ridiculous scenes, ridiculous. Oh. Scopier, Pristina, boxed off, zip top. Unbelievable few days here. Um, I made some notes my phone because there's far too many uh, good things to talk about. So number one, best cocktails, best atmosphere, best vibe. Owl Bar, Alexander in there, the guy that's making the cocktails. Great guy, sorted us out our jumper, which we lost as well. So yeah, if you come in looking for some nice drinks, definitely the place to go. Um, all the food we had, as you've probably seen throughout the vlog, has been super, super good. Breakfast, dinners, uh, one in the Marriott Hotel was a little bit more of a, a chilled, relaxed vibe. And then the second time where we're sat on the, I guess, just right on the main square, really, really nice vibe, music in the background, exactly what you want to see. Um, probably the best trip we did was to the Matka Canyon. Again, in sort of June, July, August, when the sun's beaming down in there, that'd take that from a, a eight, nine out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 drinks get a kayak on the river super super flair um definitely bring some cash of some form because up taxes that's all they take whether it's euros or, or local dinar so you need yeah a little bit to kind of get you around but most kind of restaurants and, and bars will take card but yeah definitely some cash of some form because that'll save you and in some places value for money unparalleled so recently went to iceland where we we're paying about nine ten pound a, a beer you're probably looking at two pound two euros a beer and then probably about four four fifty for a cocktail so ridiculous ridiculous value the people genuinely i think when we were coming here and we talked to people like kosovo and north macedonia like everyone was a bit like oh are you sure this that really sort of like skeptical um and so forth I've never been a place where people are as friendly, whether it's like the cocktail guy, Alexander, I mentioned, he came and brought us a blue Negroni, wasn't even on the menu, just something he sort of, yeah, made up and said, oh, here's one to try on them. Um, people just calling you taxis out of nowhere, going the extra mile, just because, do you know what I mean? They're kind of super, super nice people. Um, the only negative I'll give, apart from the weather, you can't mark somewhere down on the weather, but yeah, if it was five, 10 degrees warmer, spot on, it is the smoking in places. Um, so yeah, if you're listening, North Macedonia, Christina, no smoking moving forward and yeah kind of said on the weather from june to september i think it's probably the perfect time to come because we've got a bit of sun now but yeah still in a bit of a thicker jacket so overall unbelievable trip definitely would recommend road to a thousand subscribers is on do your boy a favor hit the button down below and remember jeff's always cooking <laughs>